Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will be talking about allylic exclusion. Now what do we mean by allylic exclusion? First of all, the terms. Allylic exclusion means the exclusion of allele. Now what are alleles? We all know that we are having a gene. Suppose we are having one gene. Now for, for that one gene, that gene can have two different copies. Two different copies. One coming from our father, one coming for, from our mother. Now both of these copies, so these are two copies of the same gene, remember, they are called alleles of each other, right? So this is one copy, copy number one, this is copy number two. Now both of them, copy number one and two, are, will be called as alleles of each other. Okay, now allelic exclusion means whenever we are talking about uh, expression of alleles, expression of genes, for example. Now gene can present in two different forms, two different alleles. Now whenever one uh, suppose this is one chromosome. Let me tell you, this is one chromosome. Sorry. Now say this is another. So let me draw another chromosome. This this red is another chromosome. So we are having two chromosomes. One is this uh, blue, another one is this red. Now uh, if we are talking about this blue chromosome, now suppose a gene present in here and this gene also presents. Uh, in this case, for example, these two regions and this gene present in. So these are the green gene which are present both in chromosome uh, blue and red. Now, if uh, the rearrangement of these genes uh, between this first chromosome or the blue chromosome occurs successfully, then it will prevent the expression of this gene from the red chromosome. Okay, so if the chromosome, uh, if, if the genes are expressed by this chromosome, it will lead to the expression exclusion for this one. So this is called the exclusion of alleles or allelic exclusion, right? So that means one type of successful rearrangement blocking the expression of gene from other chromosome. Similarly, if the expression of, of, of if the if the successful rearrangement occurs in this red chromosome, it will eventually block the expression of the same genes from the blue chromosome. Right? In both this case, this is true. Now, if the rearrangement of gene occurs never, if the rearrangement or expression of the genes occur neither in blue nor in red chromosome, then that gene is unexpressible inside the cell. So the cell will uh, lack the expressive product of that gene. That is what is called the allelic exclusion. And this particular phenomena is uh, beautifully illustrated during the B lymphocyte of our immune system. Now, if you study the B lymphocyte system, you can uh, look for uh, is, uh, uh, of this uh, allelic exclusion uh, as a beautiful example. Okay, and but another thing that uh, during this expression, for example, the rearrangement of a particular chromosome, how it can block the effect of expression of the gene from another chromosome. The modification can be of two different types. Uh, one reason for that, it can be of a transcriptional regulation. So suppose due to the expression of a gene from one chromosome is providing some transcription factors which are blocking the expression of same gene from other chromosome. Similarly, if a second possibility is that post-transcriptional and post-translational modifications like this methylation which act as the gene silencing, right? So suppose this is the new gene. Now if we methylate this gene, this gene will be converted into silent form so that they cannot be expressed, right? So in this case. So that is how one gene expression can lead up to uh, the, ex uh, and the blockage of expression of other gene, right? So that's the process. That's the po possible process. Now let's look at the example of B cell. So if you look at the B lymphocyte cell, we are taking three uh, different uh, pair of chromosome here. One for the heavy chain. So this is completely separatable. This is heavy. And there are, these are the two light chain uh, rearrangement. Now heavy chain rearrangement won't make any problem because uh, due to this heavy chain rearrangement, as you can see, one is this green, another one is this yellow. Now bo uh, both uh, this green one is coming from uh, mother and this yellow one is coming from father. Now any of these two heavy chain can be expressed. Now we are not that much bothered about this heavy chain rearrangement because this heavy chain, uh, most of the heavy chain domain are not responsible for the attachment of antigens. So they are the structural parts. We don't bother about bother much about this particular section. But what we are interested in about this a light chain rearrangement which is kappa and uh, lambda in this case. So in case of this kappa and lambda, we are having maternal red, paternal purple and also maternal pink and paternal blue. So we are having this kind of uh, rearrangement. So rearrangement can take place in this case. For example, say for the first case when we are having the heavy chain expressed by this maternal one. So we are having maternal heavy chain expressed. Now uh, this one present in this chromosome. Now similarly, we are having now two different light chain, kappa or lambda to be expressed. Now in this case, what we can see that this red one, which is a 
kappa 1 is expressing and this kappa is from the mother right so this kappa is expressing along with the mother heavy chain in this picture so what it means that it is expressing from this chromosome and this is expressing from that that means expression from this kappa set of chromosome will block the expression of this lambda so we can we cannot find any expression of lambda light chain in these surface receptors like in this particular picture so what we are talking about is the expression of uh, these proteins which are responsible and act as a surface receptor of the b cell which are also called the b cell receptors or antibody receptors okay now similarly in case of this uh, second possibility that we are also having the heavy chain coming from mother or it can come from father whatever it, it is coming from mother but rest of the part we are having two possibility kappa and lambda among this kappa and lambda we are having the expression of here we can see the lambda one right here we are seeing the expression of lambda one it is coming from father so it means that whenever we get the expression of this lambda it will block the expression of kappa so we cannot find the expression of kappa in the surface receptor for this case similarly we cannot find the expression of lambda in, in the surface receptor of this case okay so here in this case lambda is excluded and in this case uh, kappa is excluded this is called the allylic exclusion and here it is the example of allylic exclusion okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you